Ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel, which is Alpha of Radio Rocks. My name is Eddie Grim, the Rock DJ, and today I'm going to be checking out one of the greatest English heavy metal bands, and that is Iron Maiden. Of course, I did a video called 18 Famous Bands that people need to check out more, and I should have included Iron Maiden in there because most people don't know Iron Maiden music. I am also in that category. I know like maybe like six or seven Iron Maiden songs, I think, Run to the Hills, Number of the Beast, uh, Speed of Light, uh, Can I Play with Madness, Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter, and another sixth one. Yeah, I know about six or seven Iron Maiden songs. So today I'm going to increase my knowledge by checking out Hallowed Be Thy Name. Never heard of this song and uh, I think I should check out more Iron Maiden. If you're a big Iron Maiden fan, Please make sure to comment below and tell me which other Iron Maiden songs I should check out. Uh, These old school bands, Pantera, Ma Metallica, Iron Maiden. I'm planning to review more of them on the channel. Smash like if you're a rocker. Smash like if you love rock music. And subscribe because I talk about everything rock music on this channel. I do reactions, reviews, commentaries and interviews. Alright, enough chit chat. Let us check out Bruce Dickinson over here. Iron Maiden, Hallowed Be Thy Name. The first time listening to it, I'm checking out a live version that uh, YouTube, uh, you know, recommended me and uh, let's check it out, starting right, uh, right now. Okay, this guy on screen right here, this guy right here on screen, I'm assuming this is Bruce Dickinson, right? I don't know, he looks younger, so I can't tell easily, yeah, I'm assuming this, this is a performance from a long time ago. He reminds me of a dude called Danzig. You know Danzig? Yeah, he reminds me of Danzig. I don't know Danzig well, but I know how he looks like. Here he reminds me of Danzig. And then the intro with the bells. Yeah, the intro with the bells. Also kind of reminds me of... Um, remember Game of Thrones? <laughs> you remember Game of Thrones? Episode when Daenerys attacks King's Landing and people are like, Sound the bells! Yeah, also here on YouTube there's a clip of Daenerys riding her dragon and then burns King's Landing and then and then in the background you hear For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica. It just brought that to mind. I'm going to be pausing a lot, so bear with me. I'm analyzing, I'm like, you know, I'm like breaking the song down and giving you my thoughts and reactions. Let's continue. It sounds like something really ominous is about to happen. When the bell begins to chime, reflecting on my past life. Let me, let me pause there for a second. Why is it here that Bruce Dickinson, he looks, I'm not used to seeing a, a young Bruce Dickinson, so here he looks like, I, I don't mean this in a. <laughs> I don't mean this in like an insultive way, but he looks sort of like the lead singer of Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, just just look at him and look look at him from this angle. Yeah, this this I'm I'm 32 seconds into the clip, so look at him from this angle. He looks like the lead singer of Red Hot Chili. I'm not used to seeing a young Bruce Dickinson. <laughs> Let's just continue. It doesn't have much time. Cause it's five o'clock They take me to the gallows pole Sounds like he's about to get executed The sands of time For me Are running low Yeah, it's like death is approaching Wow, wow, just for a second, these vocals, my goodness, do, <laughs> you know, Iron Maiden is English heavy metal, right? A lot of heavy metal bands, especially nowadays, modern ones, do not, do not really do those kinds of vocals, they focus more on like unclean, the only band that I know that does, that does, you know, like, like really hitting high notes, nowadays maybe is like, 
uh, trivium, yeah. Trivium and Disturbed, yeah, there was a time Trivium in their album Silence in the Snow. In their album Silence in the Snow, uh, Matefi was doing these kinds of vocals, which was like David Draymond-ish. But nowadays, a lot of heavy metal bands don't, I mean, like a Metallica. There's a Metallica focus on these kinds of vocals, so I'm actually really impressed that Bruce Dickinson... I know this here he was very young, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed that he's doing these kinds of high notes. Oh, those rips are killer. I just love how everyone has long hair. But I had made it just has those awesome guitar solo like <laughs> riffs, huh? Nice. Really great performance. Not just the production, but also the emphasis and the energy. And the, the guitars, man. So this, let me just pause that for a second. There's like a whole story behind this song. Yeah? You can see he's saying that when the priest comes to read me the last rites, I take a look through the bars at the last rites. So it's basically a guy waiting to be executed and he's wondering why is this happening to him, though I don't... I'm only like, what, halfway through the song? Yeah, it's like he sounds like he's innocent and he doesn't want to be punished for a crime that he believes he didn't commit because it says as the god march me out of the court and somebody cries from a cell god be with you if there's a god then why has he let me go mm -hmm. some really prof some really some really some really deep lyrics right here let's just continue <laughs> This is like let me just pause it for a second. This song this song is like this song if you put this song in a try not to headbang challenge, I promise you you're losing. You are losing. Not just it's just so head, the urge to headbang is just it's 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 a must. It's a must. Let's go. I am maiden and their guitar riffs and solos were Mm-hmm. Listen to that. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Nice, 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 nice. You don't see many singers, many vocalists with this kind of energy right now. Dude. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, the dust only begins proper now. Isn't it cool when a lead singer just goes into the audience and just starts to headbang with them? <laughs> Some of us don't have a long hair! <laughs> This is why I admit it is awesome, it's just the guitars just take over and you're carried away by the song. So that's why the song is just one long guitar solo, huh? <laughs> Dear Lord, <laughs> those vocals. That was fire, bro. My god, that was fire, man. Iron Maiden, hallowed be thy name. Damn! <laughs> I'm glad I got to listen to this one. They, 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 they're, like, they're like three or four guitar solos in this track, and they are all dope. There's, there's so much instrumentalism in the track, yeah. That makes the song so headbangable. Yeah, the lyrics are awesome as well. They tell a story of a guy who's convicted and waiting to get executed. And uh, of course, he feels like that shouldn't be happening. Uh, I, I'm happy that I didn't check out the studio version because this one, the live performance, Bruce Dickinson just brings it. And it's really cool <laughs> to see a lead singer who goes on stage and uh, is you know, so energetic and he just headbangs and he goes to interact with the audience instead of just standing there and just, you know, nowadays a lot of modern metal bands when they are singing, they stand there, they hold the. They hold the mic stand and then they just start looking at the audience like this. Yeah, I think I'm going to check out more Iron Maiden on the channel. If you're a huge Iron Maiden fan, please make sure to comment below. If there's more detail in this track that I missed, please make sure to comment below. And smash like if you are a huge fan of rock music. I review everything rock music on this channel. On this screen, I'm going to leave a couple of songs. Please make sure to check them out. There are other reactions and reviews that I've done on the channel. All right, cheers.